Good morning. The sale is public. And I am on my way to a Nordstrom to go try on some stuff. We'll see what they have in store. And if you want to see what I tried on, fit, sizing, quality, all that good stuff, let's get going. Okay, so the first top that I tried on is this lush cold shoulder top. And usually I'm kind of like back and forth between lush tops because of, I just feel like they're not the best quality. But this one I actually really liked. It's super cute. Now I would obviously wear a smoother bra underneath, but this wasn't see-through. And I feel like I could get away with wearing this to work because, I mean, it's like a tank top, but just a little bit of coverage on the, on the arm. So I actually really, really liked this. Uh, I tried it on in this ivory color and then I also tried it on in this blue color and I liked both of them. The ivory one is a small, the blue is a medium. I didn't see much different in, much of a difference in sizing with these so you could go either way but I do really really like this. I've seen this top a ton of times on Instagram already but this is the Chelsea 28 Bell Sleeve Poplin top and I really love anything that is blue and white stripes so can't go wrong there and this is like a two-tiered bell sleeve. As you can see the bell sleeves are very dramatic and for me that's not really my style but it is a very cute trendy piece so if you're looking for something with bell sleeves I really like this one. Speaking of trends, we have an embroidered top here from Rails. Rails is probably one of, if not my favorite designer for shirts. And the details on this top are super cute. It is more of a military style top and the material is definitely thicker than your typical, typical Rails hunter plaid top. So keep that in mind. I like the snap closure detail in the front and Overall, I just think this is a super cute shirt. You can kind of do the half tuck it may and make it more slimming. Uh, I like the roll tab sleeves. I'm, I don't know, I just think that this is super cute. It is a little bit pricey for a trendier piece. I do think that it is super cute, but if you're into this embroidered trend, then I have something for you here in a few minutes that is a little bit more affordable. And these are some jeans that I tried on. They're not on sale, but I figured maybe somebody would ask about them. I just tried them on so that I would have jeans to wear with some of these outfits, but these are by Blank NYC and they're called the Distressed Skinny. I have never tried a pair of Blank NYC jeans before and these are nice, but there is really no comparison between these and a pair of AG or a pair of Hudson or um, you know Paige jeans or anything like that. So although they are cute, they're not quite as soft as some of the other denim that I've tried. And so for that reason, I didn't get them even though they weren't even on sale anyways. But I just wanted to let you guys know it is more of a thicker jean material. I'm wearing a 28 here and I'm always between a 27 or a 28. And here we have another embroidered top. This one is by Rails and I love the details on the sleeve. This one is a much lighter material than the other green embroidered top by Rails. That one has also snap buttons. This one has traditional buttons and one pocket instead of the two. So this one is, in my opinion, a little bit more comfortable because it is so light. It fits similar to the typical hunter tops, the plaid tops by Rails. And I love the back detail of this one. This is just a fun shirt and really cute. Now this shirt I have tried on before in a previous video, but I wanted to show you guys again because one, I love it. Number two, it keeps coming in and out of stock, so I thought you guys might have a chance to get it. It This one is kind of like this oatmeal blush color, but it does come in a few different colors, and I really like the material of this. If you want a really cozy, easy to wear pullover sweater, then I think that this is a great option. I love this shirt. This is just a classic white button-up shirt with a twist. I love the cold shoulder detail. I will say I think I will wear a cami underneath this just simply because there are uh, large gaps in between each button set, 
And so I think that could have been avoided by having the buttons a little bit closer together, but that's an easy fix, no problem at all. I really think that this fits really cute and I like it tied up like I'm showing here, but you could also wear it open and it does button all the way down. This is a great shirt for work or for play. I just, I think that this is super cute and it's pretty affordable too. Now you guys know that I could wear a blazer every day of the week and be a happy camper. I love this blazer. This is by Treasure and Bond. I'm wearing a lace cami underneath it, but apparently it's sold out. It's not even available on the website anymore. But this blazer, yes, it's kind of like a textured material. And then I love the detail inside. It's this blue and white stripe you'll see on the sleeve right now by the wrist that when you fold it up, you get that detail on the wrist, which is super cute. Uh, it's on the inside as well. And then if you wanna just leave it undone, it does have a raw hem and that is on the sleeve as well as the bottom of the blazer. So it's just like a blazer with a little bit of edge, but it's not overly trendy and it's not juvenile, if, if that makes sense. I really love this. The fit is nice. I'm actually wearing a medium here and I would go down to a small just because it is a little bit too loose in the arms, but this is a winner, guys. If you are in need of a navy blue blazer, I would definitely check this out. Again, I would say it is true to size. Okay, so this shirt just kind of makes me laugh. I feel like it's having an identity crisis here. I usually don't like shirts that have this kind of sleeve at, and at the wrist. It's not elastic, but I don't know. I, again, I get Shakespearean vibes from this top. Except for the top part, the black part is very, very stretchy. So I do feel like it would actually stay in place on your shoulders and not, you know, kind of creep up like some other off the shoulder tops do. I just, I don't think that this is for me, but I'm also very boring. So if you have a more risk taking type of style, then I would say go for it. I just think that this isn't for me. It is true to size though, so in this I am wearing a small. Okay, so remember earlier when I said that I had something for you that was much more affordable if you liked embroidered tops? Well, here we go, because although this one is not on sale, it's $55 in comparison to the Rails one that is $124. I want you to look at the embroidery on the right and then in the embroidery on the left. They are very similar. Literally the only difference is the cost and the other one, the BP one doesn't have the embroidery on the back, but when I tried it on, it still felt really nice. It felt lightweight, just like the other one. And I thought it was super cute, true to size. So I missed out on these last anniversary sale and I ended up buying a couple of them and paying full price for them. So if you are interested in this sweater, I highly recommend it. They came out with a very similar style last year, except for last year it was a V-neck instead of this uh, style kind of boat neck. And it is very lightweight, very comfortable. If you want more of an oversized look, I would size up, but this is how it wears untucked. And I am wearing a small. This was a request from one of you guys. I think you asked for the a halogen leather jacket and I'm not sure if I even picked up the right one, but I can only assume that the quality of leather is going to be the same for the other one because they are the same price, but this is a beautiful jacket. If you're looking for a quality jacket, this is where it's at. It's a, I, there are no words. It felt really nice when I put it on. It felt very luxurious and it is true to size. This is also a top that somebody had requested that I go and try on and I want to say that this is a small petite and I am not petite. I've never worn petite clothes so I would say to definitely size down in this top but it is super cute and I wasn't even expecting that. It's a very soft material and I do think it's good quality. I just think that the sleeves are really long especially for it being a small petite so just watch out for that. These are the Nordstrom Lingerie Moonlight Pajama Set, and these are really nice. They're super soft, like very, very soft. And I will say that the pink is see-through, so I didn't end up purchasing this color, but the navy that I also tried on is not see-through. All right, so I am back home. I have the dogs here. You can probably hear them in the background. I really hope you guys enjoyed this last video of the end sale. I had so much fun filming these like so much fun. 
So I think I'm actually going to do like more clothing style videos because you guys seem to enjoy them. So uh, thank you guys again so much for watching and allowing this, allowing me to do this and have so much fun with it. I hope you guys got everything that you wanted from the end sale. And if you didn't, don't give up. <laughs> Keep checking back for restocks because people do return things and uh, Nordstrom actually does restock a few of the things after the early access sale. So uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.